And we begin tonight with Russia's revenge on Ukraine after a key bridge connecting Russia to Crimea was blown up this weekend. Tonight, Russia responding with deadly bombings across at least 10 major cities inside Ukraine, including the capital of Kyiv. Putin saying he personally ordered the strikes. Of course, this is what drove Putin to act. The explosion this weekend, video circulating online showing that key bridge connecting Russia to Crimea blown up, the explosion ripping apart major sections of that bridge. The massive bridge, 12 miles long, left burning the smoke seen for miles. It was a bridge Putin was very proud of, personally visiting the bridge in 2018 when it opened. Tonight, what Putin says he personally ordered in response, at least 84 missiles, 24 drones across Ukraine. These are images from the city of Dnipro, a massive explosion just in front of that car there. In Kyiv tonight, a, a missile targeting this pedestrian bridge, a tourist site, a person running for their life there. And the images tonight of a playground right in the capital left smoldering. And look at the map tonight, multiple cities targeted across Ukraine, and we learn President Biden has now spoken with President Zelensky. What was promised on that call and what does the U.S. believe could be coming next? ABC's Brick Clement reporting from inside Ukraine tonight. Tonight, Russia unleashing one of the most intense and widespread aerial attacks since the start of the war. The coordinated barrage unfolding during the busy morning rush. 84 missiles and 24 drones targeting at least 10 cities from one end of Ukraine to the other, including unprecedented strikes in the heart of the capital. Okay. Residents in Kyiv racing into shelters, air raid sirens blaring. You can see where those windows have been blown out of that building. A massive crater just left here by the impact of the missile in the middle of the intersection. <laughs> Terrified residents screaming in horror. <laughs> At least 12 people killed, more than 80 injured across the country. This man bleeding and shocked, his hands shaking. Strikes on critical energy infrastructure knocking out power to major cities. <laughs> coupled with attacks on civilian areas with no obvious military targets. The explosion here ripping out part of the ground of this park, not far from a playground where kids come to enjoy themselves. This is not of strategic military importance. This is a clear civilian attack. Here, a massive explosion near a pedestrian bridge. You can see a person walking just feet away from the blast, then running away. This young woman recording a video while walking down the street, when suddenly a missile explodes nearby. See the sheer terror on her face, her voice cracking. Residents horrified. I'm still shaking. You're still shaking. Well, I can see you're still shaking. Yeah. Because yeah, it's, it's so scary, you know, you can drive uh, to work and boom, and you're gone. Tonight, a defiant President Zelensky releasing this video from the damaged streets of Kyiv, calling the Russians terrorists, promising a quick recovery. Tonight, Putin saying he personally ordered the mass missile strikes as payback for the weekend's major bridge attack in Crimea, calling it a terrorist act hours before today's strikes. That bridge, the only link between Russian-occupied Crimea and Russia, a critical supply route for Russian troops and pivotal symbol of Russia's illegal claims to Crimea. Putin personally celebrating that connection between Russia and Crimea back in 2018. And back in Kyiv tonight, residents taking shelter in the subway, defiantly singing Ukraine's national anthem. Just extraordinary reporting under very difficult circumstances tonight. Britt Clement with us live tonight from the capital of Kyiv. Uh, Britt, that young woman walking down the street recording when the missile hits just uh, right there near her. Just extraordinary. And the screams of the Ukrainian people in all of those videos that you showed us tonight. You saw firsthand uh, the destruction caused by Russia's retaliation. Tonight, Vladimir Putin threatening more attacks. Yeah, David, these are the biggest attacks here in the capital since the war began. These happened, we must remember, during the morning rush hour, killing innocent people. And with Putin under pressure at home, Kyiv remains on alert tonight. And there are real fears, David, of more attacks to come as Ukraine advances on the battlefield. David. Britt Clinton leading us off tonight. Britt, our thanks to you and the team. Please be safe. Uh, what's been an unsettling 24 hours there. And as you heard Britt report tonight, President Biden did speak with President Zelensky today. Let's get right to our chief White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega, live at the White House tonight. Cecilia, what have you learned about the call and, of course, what U.S. authorities believe could be coming next year? Yeah, well, David, on this call, the number one top topic we have learned was air defense. Zelensky 
asking, continuing these calls for more aid, and President Biden pledging continued aid to Ukraine, including air defense systems. Now, the U.S. was already slated to deliver these sophisticated surface-to-air missiles to Ukraine next month. These are more advanced weapons than those shoulder-fired ones that the U.S. has been giving to Ukraine. As for what's next, really the big question facing the White House and the U.S. right now is whether this latest attack pressures the U.S. to send more aid or even more advanced weapons to Ukraine. David, I have just learned from a source that President Biden will attend an emergency virtual G7 meeting tomorrow. This main topic of this this meeting is going to be Vladimir Putin, that attack, and increasing pressure on Mo Moscow from these allies. President Zelensky also is uh, uh, slated to attend, David. But tonight, here at this White House, across this administration, there is widespread condemnation of that attack. Well, you heard Cecilia there late reporting tonight. President Biden will be on a meeting with uh, G7 leaders tomorrow on all of this. Cecilia Vega with the breaking news. Thank you to you and Britt Clinton tonight on Ukraine. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.